Let's get into it. Let's... Now that we've gotten skeuomorphism out of our <laughs> systems. Let's make yeah, right let's make let, let's make prumpy leather. Okay. Can I tell you one story about the leather? You may. Yes. So the most egregious example everyone references was the, was the find find friends Corinth, rich Corinthian leather, right? Mm -hmm. And I think what's really interesting about this is that the discussion is always about how leather was just egregiously like overly like rendered and stuff like that. But I think I, and that was a that was a hard Steve Jobs call. He designed that basically from the back seat. I'm partially convinced that that style and aesthetic was necessary because the technology underneath was actually horrifyingly scary. Fine mm -hmm. France was the first time there was a public way to track people walking around the city. Um, mm -hmm. If it looked like a cold, normal interface, mm -hmm. it would feel dystopian. I think wrapping oh. all that shit in leather was a way to, like, like, like emotionally package it as something safe and benign. That's just my theory. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That makes sense. Anything with skin I, I, can I, I be trusted. I want to tell someone this. <laughs> Uh, I think I know. I think did Sebastian DeWitt work on that? Yeah, yeah I think so. We'll talk to uh, him someday about that. Um, uh, what's uh, up? Uh, I think Raymond Sepulveda did, did that texture. Mm. Good times. Well, we can we can bring it back. Yeah, if prompty is uh, sufficiently creepy, <laughs> yeah, I just uh, <laughs> make it really furry. There you go, Dave. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how you do we need, it. We now need we're designing AI prompty. <laughs> Ask AI you prompty. all the questions about about your deepest darkest secrets. Yeah, and then it'll be sentient and good to go. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, all right. So we're trying to. I guess do a run through and then see what needs doing and then basically do a demo run through, feel into that for whatever's tomorrow. Yeah. I think it makes yeah. sense to start uh, what we want to present. And I'm just filling the gaps. Sweet. That is what a very big my monitor, monitor, John. Is that, mm -hmm. is that your oh, that's monitor, Christy. Kristen? Yeah. How do I? What, what resolution? Your view? Uh, ultra wide. It's like a, uh, what is it? It's a. It's really nice. It's a, it's, it's, it's a BenQ. Yeah, a BenQ designer monitor. Uh, yeah, is that, is that 5K wide or, or 4K wide? I think it's 4K. Um, okay. Wow. Or it might be like, it's a, it's a, a price cool. point directly between like the super high end, like 5K plus ones, and then the blurry, like wide, wide but blurry ones. Yeah. Oh, that's Does nice. that make it more compacted if I just do? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that looks a lot better. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's great. How do you, you do can that? select you can select two windows at a time. You click on oh, like share, oh. and then I think share that's or something. Impressive. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would I know. software over here. Look at two years. Just fine. <laughs> look at us. Look at us learning how to use Zoom. <laughs> We recently learned how to use the doodle annotation. No, what was it? Oh, you can annotate. Yep. That's yeah. not. Okay. No, don't do it. It'll just <laughs> open up and. <laughs> yeah. All right, where do we start? Um, step one, get the Roll times play. right. Get the times right? Yeah, oh, 106, sure. everything is 167 oh, yeah. hours and 71 hours every time. Mm -hmm. Oh, every time. Yeah. So a few of them, oh. I, I I believed it, and then they expired, and I was like, "God damn it!" <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I don't know what's happening oh, there. Like Do you want to refresh? Does it like randomize them? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, oh, that's nice. I mean, that data is already on the prompt okay. JSON object. Um, refresh it, Kristen, please. Yeah, that's okay. That's what I thought. Yeah, it 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 stays at that time. Concerned. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. We're just it's doing something weird. Right yeah. Um. Are we still keeping it with hours too? I put reformat because I was thinking maybe days would be better. But. Yeah, we could probably use one of those yeah. relative 
libraries that just yeah. like, does days and then hours and nice. minutes by itself. Yeah, I think it's like React time ago. I don't know if that's that's time ago. Time ago, yeah. Time ago. Yeah, we use that on Conger. Yeah. Yep. And then right. it works. So that jumps out well. immediately. Then there's the, I think the biggest thing is the loading state or submitting yeah. stuff yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, on, yeah. on responses. Yeah. Yeah. Which, so we already have kind of a pattern for that for the prompt submission. So we might just be yeah. able to tear that right over and import it over. Um, it's got a spinner and the little timer in the button. Yep. What else did I notice? From where, John? Uh, basically, it's going to come from the prompt submission. Uh, so, yeah, the new prompt submission. Is it, mm. is it responding to a prompt or is it submitting a new prompt? Submitting looks good. Um, okay. We want to move okay. that okay. to prompt. To response. Uh, response. Yep. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. And there was some, I don't remember what was happening there that Arthur couldn't. Yeah, so really the, the fundamental problem there was he kept hitting the min character limit. But mm -hmm. the only thing that the contract returned was like uncalculable gas. So he's like, didn't know how to handle that. We kind of already covering that case on our side There's... by not submitting um, the transaction. But yeah, it, it would be nice to like actually capture sort of the error and, and display it to the user, I, I think. Yeah. There's some like boilerplate code um, in the most updated uh like kevin's web3 scaffold for that mm -hmm. where like you just point the it to the contract like abi and it will mm -hmm. be able to parse errors out um when they spit out like because in when it says cannot calculate gas it actually throws an error in the data field um which uh, is a hex code for which error code it is for yeah. which error code it is in the contract but but you just have to do a like a hash of the name of the function to get that code. It's like a whole mess. So there's a function that Kevin wrote um, that I, actually I wrote for OKPC. Gotcha. Um, and then Kevin put it in put it in Web3 scaffold. Um, okay. That does all of that. So yeah. that it would be nice to get in first and then the loading state will just be on top of that. Yeah, yeah I think handling those errors in the UI is like another problem though. Because then you need to do like a toast or some kind of deal to yeah. like sh like pop it up to the user in a readable way. Um, so that 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 like needs another component. It might be like I don't know out of scope for demoing tomorrow. It's like yeah. a little bit higher lift. I would say like probably at least like th three to four hours. Yeah. Hmm. Thing is though, I, I don't think I've hit a single error since the min character limit. Yeah. Um, so I think that was like ninety five percent of the cases. So definitely agree that this is. I think it's that, that and responding twice. If you try to respond mm -hmm. twice, it'll do yeah. the same thing. I don't know if we've blanked out that box, um, or I like think, blanked out that state from happening or not. Yeah, the that state's covered now. Like once you've submitted a response, the text okay, area okay. is is gone. So box goes away. Yeah. Gone. Great. Great. Okay. Yeah, those are the only two errors that I, I really think are even in the contract, so it should be okay. Cool. Yeah, then there's, I think, uh, like in the response, the text area, like overflows some and stuff like this. There's some padding things, but that's not really a big deal. Um, I don't really. Yeah, like, like towards here, the bottom you, specifically. Yeah, we can potentially. Mm -hmm. I don't actually know what's happening there. I, I've got, I'm like the way I'm structuring the, yeah. It's, it's, it, sometimes okay. it does it. Maybe it's the, there. We get mm. some of these kinds yeah. of things. Um, huh. So that's, CSS huh. can probably fix this kind of thing. And um, yeah, I'm not sure. It would require like, Oh. figuring out what the hell it's you were doing, doing the same thing again john <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, i like yours better what, <laughs> what the heck <laughs> we take notes similarly it's nice it's good i mean i was the, the
the worst at this <laughs> when I had to do these things. I'm just like, it's, it's broken. I'm like somebody fix it. <laughs> That's really helpful, Dave. <laughs> I, I hate you. I've got so many bugs like that in my life. I hate you. <laughs> no, I, I was good at making videos and stuff, but not great at staying. I just go fix it. Cause I'm like, I, it's harder to talk about this thing than just go make it better. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's one of the hard Anyways. things that I've learned about bug reporting. If you're not hyper specific, depending yeah. on who you're working with, they're just like, well, can't help you at all. And I'm like, ah, oh. like if you can't recreate it, I'm like, I swear it happens. I don't know how to, like, I can find weird shit too. You'll see. Yes. So far, so good. Yeah. So on this one, I think it's a structural thing. Um, I don't necessarily know how to structure this control well. I have to sit with it a bunch. I just sort of hacked it together. Um, so low priority. Man, we're just rebuilding it. Oop. We're kind of keeping things in two categories then. Like the yeah. super nice to have, so then like the less priority, nice to have. Yeah. I I don't think it's it's broken broken here. People will get a general idea. But also I think the expansion of the text field still works. So uh, if you grab yeah. the lower right corner, like yeah, if we can adjust it. Mm -hmm. So in case somebody can yeah, like running into issues, that's always there. Interesting. It's their fault if it goes. It's what? It's their fault if it reaches the bottom of should expand it. Their responsibility. Exactly. Go. We've given you eight. We've given it's a the user responsive agency. system. Yeah. <laughs> um, the other stupid thing is like uh, the way that we're adding that there are zero, zero hidden responses to this prompt thing at the bottom mm -hmm. there. Um, I'm like, I hacked that in with like some timing on an animation and stuff because it's injecting into the page in a certain way. Um, ah, yes. I don't know what the hell. Yeah. So, uh, it's, yeah. What would the ideal be there? Um, um, no animation? So I think it, it can still animate in. Um, but yeah, it's, it's so what happens there is uh, it's in the page before everything else is and mm. as text. Mm. And then the number isn't updated. And uh, so it shows as zero hidden responses by default. Then the page. Yeah fills in and it moves down and then you know so again though this is all yeah chrome is that considered yeah, chrome th this should i think probably more or less yeah icing i think this can be fixed with just like an additional react state okay um like there's probably a loading daily bob boolean yep. thing um, and and just checking that that zero has been loaded, and once all of that has been loaded, um, it, it's probably good to go. Perfect. Makes sense. So that's a nice to have, and it's a uh, it. These little things start pulling the room together. I don't know if that's a feature. I don't know what Dealy Bob means, feature. Um, state, I guess. State. Yeah. I'd probably be able to remember feature, but I don't know if everyone else or whoever works on it will. I don't have service, really. We have a video <laughs> reference. Yep. Yeah. I do like the disembodied CJ head in nature. Dude, I was just like say, off the top yes. of the dome, he's just like, and then this happens and this happens. And this is how this is working. And you're like, what? His thumbnail is so inspiring right now, dude. He's so laid back in the trees and the lighting. And then he's just blowing with all these ideas. Like I'm very jealous of CJ right now. Just full of oatmeal. I mean Tony's got full a of oatmeal, kind of bloody setup. toe. He just in the in the mm -hmm. He's in the zone. <laughs> <laughs> all right um i think that i don't know that there's anything else that i've noticed um that's there's no blocker stuff um 
seemed a couple little things. Nothing. It, it doesn't work on mobile. Mm -hmm. Or I haven't gotten it to work on yeah. mobile. Um, with Rainbow, I haven't tried much anything else. I don't know if anybody's given it a go. I. I still think that's the test net thing, probably. Okay. Like if we deploy yeah. the main net, um, I think that would go away. Yeah, I, I swapped over because Rainbow has test net stuff and it's like confirm in your wallet and nothing happens. So, yep. Yeah, it has it. It's just super shitty. Like I think yeah. most people know, or like a lot of people are just like, it doesn't work. At least from like a month, a month ago. Um, that was yes. that was the status. I don't know. I don't know if they have any. Yeah, it, it it took us a lot of wrangling to get Rainbow Kit working well with testnet. Like we did, we did so much custom stuff there um, for the testnet. So might might be that. Agreed. Mainnet will probably be smoother. Cool. Yeah, that's all I got. What's it called? The little card that shows up. This is later, but to Hero. be able to see what the prompt is, like when you drop the link. Oh, I don't know so if I'm like, thinking too far. Like in Discord, in Discord, like the metadata thingy. Mm -hmm. the yeah, metadata. Preview. Social preview. Metadata preview. Yeah. That'd be good. The text one is super easy for that, but because yeah. that's just an XJS function. Uh, but rendering an image could work too, but I think that, that one's a little bit more complicated. Like if we wanted to have like the GitHub.com style like text mm -hmm. with like positioning and whatnot, uh, possible, but we can get in text for sure where it's just like, um, like the link title and then the body can be the description of the prompt and something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think Kevin has a pretty, pretty good idea yeah. of this. Like if we, if we have to ask any questions, he did all of the ones for OKPC. Yeah. So, he did exquisite. Uh, I, too. Yeah. Sweet. We can probably go, like I have a bunch of reference code that I can like try to pick and pull from too. Um, cool. But yeah, he, he would be like a good, like POC to ask. Is that just in the, like a, the metadata in the head of the page? I, I don't actually know I how it works. So. I That's think so. I think so. I think you just add it to like something in the React component and it's like good to go, more or less. Yeah. I'm not sure. There's a small styling thing. Um, Kristen, if you click into a prompt, uh, sometimes I've seen that one response, yeah, like not look like that. I wonder if it's in the zero case. Yeah, the zero case does that. Ah, there, there, it is. there it is. Oh, oh right. Right. but it seems fixable. Mm. Yep. I don't need in there. That also needs also a state thing in the bob. I didn't do that now. Before. Mm. I hate this part of Notion, how it keeps doing that. You have to go under. Uh, it's too responsive of a tray. This is why we have handles on our app so that it doesn't do magical things like this. What is going on? Do we just not have a case for that, I guess? Yeah, I, I think that might be the, the thing, actually. It, it, it might be at, like useful to add something to the subgraph to do this, but there might be another way to catch it before that. I'm not sure. Because I guess like the state that it's in is like the prompt exists, but there's no responses. Yeah, so the logic is and basically it's like also, it's also dependent on what page you're on, mm -hmm. I guess. Because on the, like the home page, I think they both use the same component. Is like yeah. we want to just show the hours there, but on the other one, we also want to show uh -huh. the number of responses. Yeah, and ideally because of we that, show it the... doesn't know how to Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I, I was just gonna say I don't think it knows how to handle that. Yeah, Arthur mentioned on the, the listing here. page that um, it was like too expensive to show the responses or something. Yeah, I believe our res default response only includes like the prompt data and not the uh, response objects nor the length of the response objects. So that would, um, I imagine, right, uh, modify the graph query. 
but then we'd be pulling down more data if it's raw responses. Well. Yeah, the the right way to do this in the graph is like we add something to the subgraph, which is like number of responses, mm -hmm. um, and then and then that comes back in the same JSON object, so you just can yeah. shove it directly in there instead of run like returning the whole JSON responses object as well, like that list per per thing, and then that blows up in size and then just fucks mm -hmm. everything up. Yep, yep. Um, so, so yeah. Yeah. If we, I mean, could, if we could get something like that in there, it would, I don't know. It's nice. Um, I think scanning the list is, is nice to have the responses, but yeah. Yeah. For now, the zero case. Just, you know. Are we wiping these prompties or we're just leaving it? I don't know. I think we can leave it. Not yeah, even if we re redeploy the subgraph, um, all this stays. So I, I um, like the default case is that it stays. I, I, Wait, I what? That. Well, I'm saying like if we change, if we add that field and subgraph regenerates the data, like we'd, we'd still have all of this, right? Um, I don't. See, like, yeah, I, Kristen, were were you asking if we like completely wipe the slate like with new contracts and new subgraph and everything? Just the content, however that works. Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. Care. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was just: <clears throat> do we deploy? Do we wipe it fresh, or do we not? Before the death? I mean, is there is there anything in here that we don't want people to see? Like uh, I favorite? I don't know. Uh, I didn't get to to answer my favorite reptile. So. Oh, I know. It's a little a lot of responses on that one, guys. <laughs> well, that was one of the left ones that hanging, expired. Really left me hanging. <laughs> <laughs> it was John. I was like, I was really excited about it. Uh, I know. Also, I realized no one responded, no one responded to my mythology one and or the uh, the uh, yeah, the I, conspiracy I, one. I'm not gonna lie, I started with that one and then I, I started trailing off somewhere. Same. And I'm like, this it was is too good. hard I, for me. I was like, I don't have something that pops into mind. All right, immediately. <laughs> As long as you thought of something, all right, that works. Certainly, there was thinking happening. <laughs> both, I was it, both of these are the the. I'm like, oh, I've got 71 hours left, and I kept looking. <laughs> and I'm like, there's 71 hours left, so I'll come back to it. Uh, <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, I did procrastinate or respond to expiration time. time. No, that's fair. Well, I'm just uh, I, give me give me an hour. I, I'll push it. I'll push it to the limit. If, I think. Uh, <laughs> There, there is something about like having an hour left in the prompty that's like, you know. Yeah, no, you're right, dude. There, 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 yeah, we, there's something to to do in the system experience wise about people who who thrive from that kind of pressure or mm -hmm. helping that. Yeah, dude, no, I'm writing that down. There's something there. Yeah, so it's a, uh, I think probably in the list or something like this, we're moving them up or, or something like that. And then, and also we put a bunch of like sirens yeah. on the screen like a, a you know yeah, like flashing like, lights and and mm -hmm. like you know bullet Two noises guys, guys dancing on the side mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly needs to be faster uh, the, the, the music the music goes up a pitch and slightly faster exactly <laughs> we'll call it anxiety mode yeah <laughs> Okay, so add anxiety mode to the must must haves. Yeah. Um, be okay, yeah. I, material. Mm -hmm. Does anybody want to come in and add an anxiety mode? It'll be a snap in, prompty snap in, number one. <laughs> it's a V2 feature. It's true. Okay, presumably all of this is. Complete. Yep. What's the demo like? Are we ready to move to that? Sure. Yeah. So, do we want to have a few potential prompts in the chamber? Um, do we want to write it with the group? Um, I guess that's the the first. Is that how we're opening up to just prompt them right away? Drop a link. Yeah, I mean, we can just show it. Like, yeah, I mean, so a shorthand is a, it like, what is the shorthand for prompting? Like, it's a. 
uh, a communal prompting engine? What is the, how do, how do we describe prompting in, in the, the, yeah, have I been doing this? I usually describe the mechanic, which helps people understand it, but we, are, we don't need to do that, so. Primitive for social coordination. Blockchain native social coordination tool, easily enabled, easy networked communication. Something else in here. I think that's the one. Like time cop? Yeah, time cop ourselves. Like we're not gonna, we're not going into the technical, like. Oh, right, right. We, ag we agreed we're not doing that with this group. They'll ask oh, for see, it yes. if they yeah. want it. Yeah. Well, and if, if anything, um i can talk about it in what i'm demoing the mm -hmm. the like notes app or whatever um and more or less fundamentally they same to share the same structure so i can cool. like go into that yeah so i think yeah he's demoing tomorrow yes yeah we haven't signed I, I up even, to demo have we yeah <laughs> yeah you probably should do that um I think it's just me and one other person at the moment. Um, and I, I can give my slot up to Fronty easily too, because I don't have anything really in particular to demo. I haven't done any work since I sent the video. Just watch this <laughs> video. Any comments? <laughs> Leave notes. Uh, I, can, I, can live, I can live stream the video into <laughs> into Perfect. deaf deaf demos and i can comment on why it's so funny i mean because <laughs> there's like definitely like two or three minutes where i'm like yelling about the graph and the results are right there on the screen that I was <laughs> <laughs> right there <laughs> take note folks really this is not how to do it this is how to read rules <laughs> and be like it's right here <laughs> we could talk about it like i mean so some of the values that i transparency i guess is better way of saying that participation and so it's sort of like the but could be a po app for participation something we could play with there social Purpose. Is it social coordination? Is that the right word? It's social cohesion. Um, I think it's like a, a sharing a brain without group think. A collective intelligence primitive. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. That'll probably play with that audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll 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 get people worked up. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it, it's, it's, uh, I think that collective probably... intelligence primitive based on like a prompting engine or a prompt, like we could talked about, like, this is the whole promptism. Do we want to talk about? I think maybe we demo it and then we can get into some of that stuff. Like, okay. uh, I think it, it, really it explains best. Yeah. I don't, I don't know that we need to, to do a lot of setup. Um, Boom. Collective intelligence primitive. Here's how it works. We yeah, write and it's it's best to probably just do it. So here's the URL, and like, uh, so let's let's get the the let's take the temperature of the the room, right? And like, uh, let's 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 use it to show how it works, kind of thing. So like, what kind of prompt is best for for this audience? Um, mm. Yeah. Yeah. What should we get into there? I, um, can I, yeah. I'm, I'm going to skip ahead here with this thought, but sure. I kind of, I kind of have like a prompt for the end of it, which is like, what would you use prompty for? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm very curious about it personally. Mm. It's I just mean, to see like good. what people, what, what people think of the tool after it's been demoed effectively. Yeah. Yeah, and leaving it open and open ended for people to like be like, "Ooh, this, that, blah, blah, blah." The other thing. Okay, so I think the the early prompt we can just do like a twenty four hour thing, and it's it should be like 
I, it, probably like a, a hundred word minimum or something so that people don't have to write a lot. They'll go and write the thing. And then like, we're, we're doing it real time so that we can kind of see things coming in. Um, so what would be, <laughs> what would be something good that we can read out and start to show? Yeah. Do we yeah, want it to have curious. some depth or is it? I think that's yeah, asking a lot for- I mean, for, because you could do like, what did you have for lunch? Like something like that's like really- I think a bit more depth than that. Okay. Um, it'd, be, it'd be funny to do something like meta to depth. Um, you know, about like, like what's the best, like they changed the name of the uh, the name of the server or the Talos server mm -hmm. a lot, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like what's yeah. your favorite uh, or something like that. I, I you know, I could really want to. It's your favorite demo. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you could be any horse. Come up, come How up long would you be? Server name. <clears throat> yeah, next server name's cool. That's kind of good. I like the horse elongation. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's something that they could play with. Um, that there's like some that the creativity thing is good. Like, what's, uh, what's your favorite video game? We have a bunch mm -hmm. of nerds in there. <laughs> yeah we don't want to get them caught up too much in something where they're having to like really <laughs> uh, what, do you, what, what do you think about abortion <laughs> <laughs> hundred words or less yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> or a thousand words or more yeah uh, thousand words or more <laughs> uh, an exam making tool something about development something yeah uh, something in web3 or crypto like what are you learning what are you learning? yeah what's your current what's web3 your favorite like? part about the community what yeah what what, what are you most excited about so far uh, what's the next thing you're waiting for uh, describe your footwear right now <laughs> <laughs> Then everybody can do it. Ridiculous responses. Yeah, I like to uh, describe your footwear. Okay. Something like this. Like everybody has one. It, it's easy yeah. to, you know, it, something in that vein where, and then it doesn't take them too much out of like the presentation part of it. Um, because yeah. we get them too much in their heads, we got to bring them back. So, um, yeah. Something about the room they're in, maybe. Like some mm -hmm. something where that the, like their their local presence is like expressed through like and then everybody else gets to see it. So um, and then we can all write a version. We should all write this ourselves as well. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to like whoever's demoing it is gonna have to write one anyway to, to see the responses. Yep. Um, so something that is easy to re respond like out loud with. Um, so like. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, describe a wall in the room you're in. Something like this, like I don't know. One. Yeah. One that provides utility can be, uh, say, except for deaf, you have to scrap all but two of your Discord channels. Which <laughs> channel. Oh, that's mm. good. Yeah, which two Discord servers would you? Bring with you to a desert island. A road. Just, <laughs> mm -hmm. That's good. I like that. Though. There's what is that like? That's always like if you could bring yoga instructors do this a bunch. They're like if you could bring only two or three yoga poses, and then they're like, I know you could bring all of them, but if you could only bring, and I'm like, what? Why does that come up? A bunch? Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I think maybe we should we start with that one. I mean, start with it. Desert. Wow. Yeah, I'm, it was, yeah. This long time radio station would do your desert desert island fives. Like, if you're on desert mm. island, what five records would you want? Like, yeah. Nice. yeah. Yeah, I'd say we do a stupid one to get the feel for it, and then do another one potentially. Well, then, this one, like leave but off. Where is not bad? Deeper one. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah I think same. we'll. Yeah. Well, what you would you use them Prompty with for is probably the the one we're leaving with them with. Yeah. Um, 
I feel like they're also going to just start writing a bunch of prompts. At least that like, Jamie is going to. Like, so Jamie we might could just also, yeah. steal it, steal the show, and write some ridiculous prompts. That works too. As well. He has the best feel for the for the community, and we can just sort of <laughs> piggyback on those. Um, okay, I don't know. We've got <laughs> footwear, stupid room is fine. Uh, Discord servers is like a you got to think about it. Um, I like footwear. Yeah, the footwear one might be good. People then have to look the at the only thing is that it's like, funny. Can we? It, the minimum is still like 100 characters or whatever. Yeah. 100, whatever. Oh, 100 I think it's good yeah. though. Then they, they're forced to write a long Yeah, they form have to describe <laughs> about their like footwear description. Especially, well, we should try that ourselves just to see how hard that is though. We should like, <laughs> true. Test drive. Well, I can definitely do this. Gleaming in the distance, my feet are covered by a <laughs> leatherette. <laughs> my toes leatherette? have never felt so glorious. Swishy. Oh, word. Perhaps that one's easier for me. <laughs> it's part of Dave's daily prompting. Describe yeah, your man, feet. Describe <laughs> your daily feet. Every morning. Mm -hmm. um, how are your feet I mean, feeling right now? We could do something about summer. It's summer. People care about summer. Like, are you going anywhere? Are you doing anything? Are you? Like, what do you uh, like most about summer? What did you do over your summer vacation? <laughs> Classic. Classic. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I like that. See about the weather. Everybody likes talking about the weather. True. Yeah, well, there's like, what is what is the weather where you're at, and how do you feel about it? Yeah, that's as easy as it gets. Yeah. Describe your favorite bench. bench. Your favorite bench? what? Your favorite bench. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta hit a couple things. Yeah, deep, I mean, yeah. It's an insane, Can I make it like I want to make it overly like metaphorical <laughs> immediately? I mean, this what is, is the, the, bench? the power right. of prompty. <laughs> like we'll get all kinds of different weird responses. Is the ideal? To find bench is a bench a sandwich. Poetic bench. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a bench a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Every someone sits on it, so it's kind of like in it. Kind of like, yeah. It's like a, it's like a subway. Yeah, yeah. Like a it's a perfect sandwich. More of a taco. Yeah. A taco <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> there was a bench in, well, I have a picture of this in, uh, where was it? Boston, in like Jamaica Park, which was, uh, it made no sense. It was like a, a scoop. <gasps> It was like the like, bowl. I remember yeah. this on Instagram. And I'm like, what the uh, fuck yeah. is this thing? <laughs> yeah. so it was like a bed. That bench yeah, was a so taco. You could sit in with your legs like hanging out. <laughs> it was kind of cozy. <laughs> Why was it like that? Yes. Okay. What is the weather where you're at and how do you feel about it? Good for that now. Works. Sort of banal, but it's fine. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Everybody can answer it. Like they get the idea. And then I think people will start tossing them in like Jamie we'll we'll count on people like probably making some interesting ones and then we can maybe answer them in real time so that's the thing like from there I don't really know like uh yeah we send out the link uh everyone answers the thing watch responses roll in read some of them out um and then uh like kind of wing it from there because I don't know what's going to be happening right like um take questions I don't know yeah, I, I, I think it would be kind of even interesting, like maybe to like prompt some people in there to be like, you make a prompt. I don't know. Cause like, I, you could definitely like literally just ask Jamie, like, hey, Jamie, like, could you submit a prompt for everyone too? And I, he would be super down. Um, like, after maybe like after people understood what's going on. 
also it might not yeah. make any sense to do that because who knows what the time is going to be like what the crowd reaction is going to be it's just like a an option what do we want them to know about like why we're building it how it's built how we mm -hmm. like want like see it being used do we want it like is there anything that we do want to share or um i think so uh i think that that like we this is where we can be like all right so like this is you, you've seen yeah, that, that this it. thing has a community engagement act, act you know uh yeah like and then we can talk about the range like you can do this the, the way that we seeing the, the the primitive being useful is like in an environment like this you can do it live you know you can also do it on discord um like the time limits give you variable feedback mechanisms uh you could put it on social media, like, and, and we're, we're kind of still experimenting with the kinds of forms. Um, yeah, I don't know, all of that, we can start getting into all these kinds of things. I think, I think there will probably be natural on-ramps to this. Yeah, I mean, we could, yeah. And if not, then somebody can toss it out. Yeah, we can talk a little bit. Like, so the forms, like, we could talk about the black box feature, maybe. Mm -hmm. How it rose, what it affords. Do we want to talk about any of the, like, blockchain-y aspects of it? Um, anything that is under the hood worth noting that the nerds would like without getting into like a, exactly how it works. Um, and probably what well, somebody will ask questions probably that, that bubbles that up, I guess. I don't know. Um, so Steph has a pretty good awareness of like how these things are built, but yeah, leaving it open for like specifics would be nice. I mean, we can talk about like these kinds of patterns seem pretty blockchain native, like sort of group publishing things, and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's anything there. <laughs> There's definitely a lot more features and I don't know. Yep, don't know. My instinct is that uh, we go in with uh, the idea that we're just responding to the interest that's on display mostly. Yeah. One really simple feature that we can talk about, um, which I think is pretty cool, is, and obviously we don't have this built, but it would be really easy to build, is that any organization or company or community or anyone can basically roll Prompty as a product into their, like directly into their site with like a simple tag mm. system. So yeah. like by default, it embeds like the tag for their website and it just pulls up the Prompty that relate to that. Mm. And so it's like almost like, it's like a, it's like a whole app, like there's the Prompty universe and people can get just little slices of it yeah. with like very, very low. Yeah. Effort. Yeah. It's a network symbiote. They make they make it sound slimy. It's a, a network enhancer. Okay.
Yeah, we just roll with it. Yeah. I mean, how much how much of the of the demo turns into just like like discuss like I'm I'm curious like I'm sure if someone asks a great question, it could just kind of go off on a tangent for a while too, right? Is there is there a lot of kind of play in this? Yeah, just like fifteen minutes per demo. Jamie's pretty good yeah. about time copying people. Cool. Yeah, I yeah. Like it it also tends to be the I would say the community is generally very silent. Like what happens is people will be responding in the text chat, and then Jamie mm -hmm. will be like Narrated. doubling up the questions or just telling people love this or like blah 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 kind of a yeah. thing. So that's kind of how, that's how it's like structured. Yeah. Nice. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward thing to demo. <laughs> and then, like I think it'll be quick, easy, and then people will get the shape of it and then I think we'll get a bunch of cool feedback. So yeah. I don't know do you wanna, feel good about it. Do you want to leave them off the thread? Okay, well, uh, yeah. we're gonna take a project thread. Or we maybe... make one now. I think so. Yeah, I think that's fine. What do we want to put in there? We're demoing tomorrow. <laughs> Check back tomorrow. Uh, we could even um, just drop a little copy in there, maybe, <laughs> and see if anybody. Yeah, we could make response. it tomorrow. Yeah, I think we make it in real time. I like doing all the stuff in real time. And then people can, if they're interest, we capture the interest and convert it into joins yeah. into our thread. And then uh, any other prompties that people make can be linked up in the prompty thread. Mm -hmm. yep. Perfect. Yep. Something to put into there. Yeah. So do we do that mm -hmm. first one? That's the first thing we do? I think potentially we can uh, end it with, we've created a thread. And then what would you use prompty for is the first link in that thread. I don't know. It, it, it's kind of, yeah. Yeah, like one of us could do this back all over the place, but it's fine. Yeah. What would you use prompty for and why and how and then when? I would never. <laughs> Where? <laughs> No, just kidding. And for and for whence? <laughs> for whence? Henceforth and forsooth. You forsake. And I kind of a browser plug yeah. and it just is like like what is that Queen's English for everything? So <laughs> I can even understand what I'm typing. Like I write a sentence <laughs> and it does that shit to it. That would be so <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> 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 Just making it uh, backwards compatible <laughs> <laughs> with the 12th century, right? <laughs> we found another prompty plugin that were backwards compatibility with the medieval scribes. Oh man, Ye old is so, I don't know why that's so Ye old prompty because <laughs> it's it is extraordinarily stupid. Yeah, that ain't good. It's a perfect use of technology. <laughs> I think we actually need to do that because it'll make it way more fun. I mean, it's it, it, it all like crumbling and like yeah, exactly. <laughs> you morph it. Yeah. Shows, it shows the the modular nature. Everything is leather. Everything is leather bound. <laughs> and uh, Jordan, you have to pick a font that, that's ye old. It's good. <laughs> Everything is instead of, is a good philosophy too, just in general. Uh -huh. <laughs> Taking it, it uh, new meaning to to skimming the app. Uh, oh, like my word! Instead of dark mode, light mode, we have leather mode and <laughs> whatever. <laughs> leather leather, mode, mode. leather daddy mode. Okay. Oh god! We're getting there. I mm -hmm. I love I love making software, guys. I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is what it's like. I want a yeah. sparkle mode, like with unicorns too, just for fun. Oh yeah, yeah. Rainbows flying everywhere. Yeah. I mean, it's somebody pink. will have to come along who is willing. He has like to, Lady to... Rainicorn. Oh yeah. Uh, 
So <laughs> there are a lot of modes that Prompty wants to be. And so we're looking for somebody who is willing to, to build a design system that has the capability <laughs> of handling the, the enormous amount of stupid ideas that we can generate. <laughs> Yeah, right. uh, do we have a ask or anything at the end, like, um, or an invitation or, or anything like this? Or I mean, I think just... the ask is like, if you're interested in supporting, like, building, like, are we looking for build help testing? I mean, if you've got build a help community... is always appreciated. Yeah, build help is always them. appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> we're libertarian and <laughs> we have we have enough gold buried to keep us all float so if you're interested in helping to build out prompty um we're planning to add i already wrote this somewhere a bunch of features if you've got feature ideas send them over and then if you've got other communities who might want to use prompty yep, yep, yep. that'd be great send that would them be, over yeah, yeah um, in, in some ways doing... i think you're underplaying a modular nature but it's probably not time you probably don't let that out too much yet right like um i think people will find it i think and then yeah i think it really I think needs it's... another iteration as well i would say yeah because right now with the single feed like yeah but people will immediately yeah. jump to like i mean what tony was saying like rolling your own prompty through like tagging or like gating yeah. uh, that will yeah. people will start asking about that immediately yeah. i think that's a good point um, yeah. i think i think we can like... tell them that we're open to like helping communities incorporate this too because we've used it a lot so yeah like hands-on setup or something I mean, it, to some degree, it'd almost be easy to like set, maybe not easy, but like a prompty site generator. I don't know mm -hmm. if like that makes sense, but like it's like one click deploy your prompty set kind of a deal mm -hmm. um, for your community. Um, I think, I, I don't know if like that might, it, it's also like protocolizable like that yeah. way in terms of like, we don't need to jump like that's like the more web two style of it, I think. The web three style would be more like making it protocol that way, but mm. both are options. It, that, that one also might be a more like money money kind of thing is like, yeah. we'll host your prompty site kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. I didn't think about that. Yeah. I think it's possible that we bring up, like we, we're probably, we're looking into to figuring out like a sustainable model for building out tools like this. So like the the, That's the approach that we're taking is like building in public, offering these things, you know, but we're, we're trying to figure out business models so that we can continue this kind of work because we enjoy it. Um, cool. Yeah. Yeah. But we, we don't want to like <laughs> create, a, a, you know, sort of extractive, like in, sorry, insane growth, you know, the more people that can use these kinds of things, the better, but also we need to make sure that the development is supported. Yeah. Just on point A there, um, like the mm -hmm. invitation to help build out, do we wanna be any more specific about like what shape that's gonna be? Um, I mean, I, I don't know if we, we know that yet, but just like, we'll, get, we'll have a thread, we can drop the little updates into there. Um, maybe our YouTube videos and it, like we didn't have a hard time inviting people in for exquisite land. So I, I feel like if, if people are interested, they'll, they'll sort of start showing up and then just pull them in. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know have, if they want it. Hmm. Don't we have like a task, whatever it's called? Yeah, I need some cleanup, but like, I also think that might be a little intimidating for the, yeah. like the casual deaf thread like visitor um and i wonder if we can almost just say like we'll, we'll break things down and keep an a api open for this somehow um just to, like not really sure what that looks like yet
we do like little progress updates and like looking for, you know, it, I think once we have things that can be sort of shipped in a single PR from somebody outside that doesn't have all the context, then we can start exposing those things and just being like, there's this task and this task and they can go in and um, add things without too much difficulty. Yeah, I mean, I guess we just respond to whatever the interest is and then like figure out organization from there. Um, so I, yeah, there might be a, a couple people who want to throw in, but I doubt like we're going to get slews of people. Yeah, a flood out the door. Mm -hmm. Prompt everybody. Mm -hmm. Cool. Who wants cool. to drive? Um, I can drive. I don't mind. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I might be Where? doing a daily cameras demo and CJ's doing the other demo. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Takes oh my God. So dominant. Okay. So dominant. <laughs> I love it. There, Proud of you guys. There's, Proud to there's, be here. There, there's also a, a exquisite canvas demo that I think someone wants to do. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what is that? You guys are so hot. I don't know. Right now. I love it. So, some some guy like is building out like a whole, basically like the graphics editor for exquisite graphics, like oh, just wow. a React a React module kind of thing. Nice. Um, I think I don't totally know, um, but apparently Ooh. it can like save directly to exquisite format and blah blah blah. I think Ivy Root is the user. I think so. Um, Dang, that's cool. But I have I don't really know what he's doing because he hasn't told me much other than like what he said publicly in the Discord. Um, hmm. So I I have no idea. He just I was just like yeah, like if you build this, I'll send you like some money from the like whatever like pot of exquisite graphic stuff. Cool. Cool. All right, now I'm thinking about having to drive this thing. Mm. I'll just wing it. Fan fan. You're crazy. Oh, You're so crazy, dude. Just show up. New prompt. This is prompty. What's up? It's orange. You guys like orange? Uh, cool. Let's check it out. What does it do? Oh, let's put this. Uh, let's see what it does. I love mm -hmm. the best demo. Pretend this is it's the first time like... you're ever seeing it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, do you guys think I should click this button? Should I? Uh, okay. <laughs> they made someone that do one. that. Remember, there was someone for what was it called? It wasn't constellations or stars. It was some space uh, like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. illusion, and they asked for a a demo, a demoer, the person who built it. Mm -hmm. So someone was like, okay, I'll demo. And then it was exactly that. They got the app open and they're like, what do I do? Where do I go? And he's like, my palms are sweating. He started, he was just like, what? Like, uh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. He did really good though. It was Doug. Doug, like he was a very good performer. He's like, this is oh, horrible. So and I was like, no, you're doing good. <laughs> <Handling. laughs> nice. I'm not built like that. Well, when I freeze up, just you guys shout out what I'm supposed to do, and then we can. Well, we've got the flow, and you can keep it up in another window that you're not sharing. So, yeah, it'll be fine. There's not that much to <laughs> present. So, are we doing this pre demo then, the tidy up stuff? Yeah, I think we should knock that stuff out if we can. Uh, do we want to do that together? Do we want to, like, who's doing what? Like, what's the. I mean, I'm basically ready to go into the code. I think Arthur's around. It'll, it'll be um, very, very helpful with the React level uh, of this stuff. Um, oh. And maybe like, you know, maybe like Dave, if, if you want to make sense to like do some of the styling stuff separate because uh, so we don't step on each other's toes too much, like merging the, if we did the live share, code stuff uh, yeah yeah um let's see the only thing i've got in here 
Because I think was, we have the mostly just the zero, zero response. response state. Yeah, just, which could be a tiny little commit on your part. I just need the logic in there. Um, and then I can, I think it, yeah, it's not a big deal. So logic's cool. in, I can do a quick commit. So we'll, yeah, we'll get the state in there. Um, then we'll just code off of that. Transaction loading states, that'll pull from the other one. Yeah, and the time time is like just a package. Yeah, um, I'll I'll plug at this for for a while, and I can just like drop an update where we're yeah. at. Yeah, let us know. Sweet. Yeah, um, let me know um, also because I think tomorrow morning I'm yeah. planning to be in Carmel, so I probably will have more nice. service tomorrow, more or less. Cool. So I can probably like quickly poke at whatever needs yeah. to be in the morning. <laughs> CJ, the only thing I'm wondering about here actually is uh, for the number of responses, I think it'd be nice to get in, but I'm wondering how painful redeploying the subgraph from my end would be oh, without the API access. If, if yeah, I mean, you, it's impossible, but you could write the code and I can redeploy it. Okay. I mean, yeah, if, if you're going to have internet and stuff, that, that'd be great. Uh, but, but also, also like I have a bunch of sample code from OKPC. It's like I, it's not quite the most straightforward one. Um, so I can you also like for me, it'll probably mappings. take me like fifteen or twenty minutes to add. Okay. Yeah, it's I just mean, like you have to create. Like I don't know. There, there's like a certain way it can like fuck up. I forget. Yeah, but, like right. I remember spending like two or three hours on it initially. Okay. If you can um, get that in, so it might be before tomorrow. That that'd be great, but. If not, I cannot do that. Around. No, all right. That, that's... Yeah, I cannot do that. I can I can get it in tomorrow, but I cannot get tomorrow. it in tomorrow. No, okay. Tomorrow. No, I mean I meant before the demo. Yeah, yeah like before. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I can yeah. get it in probably like eight or nine by tomorrow morning. Seems reasonable. Yeah, I can do one more pass to make sure the counts are wired up. Cool. Yeah, I can I can also just take care of that one one doing it. It's easy enough. Sure. Three in there. Cool. All right. Demo number one coming up. Sweet. Ad. When did Arthur? Did you just we love, we love orange? I joined about <laughs> 20 minutes ago. We're orange, orange fans. I guess I didn't like the way that Zoom formatted. I didn't see that someone joined because it just added and on another like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were you were in the middle of it, so I didn't want to interrupt. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome later. Cool. All right. Um. Yeah. Just ping yeah. whenever. All stuff in there. Yep. I mean, I think it's cool. five seconds. Good deal. I'll start. I'll start Just practicing. Warm up. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Warm up. Keyboard. Warm up describing your footwear, even though we're not doing that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have mine pre-written because I, I I'll panic. I got the weather <laughs> or my shoes. Either way, I gotta, I gotta get. I gotta, I gotta go get. outside. I'll be right back. <laughs> what's the What's the weather where you're at, and how do you feel about it? My feet are sweaty. I'm wearing, <laughs> yeah. I'm wearing uh, They're green. Uh, I've got a rubber sole. Uh, <laughs> I like typing in all too. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 <laughs> it's going to be most of the characters. It's you know, all of it. <laughs> It'll be funny to see what people do. All right. I'm not wearing cool. shoes. Uh, no shoes. Uh, no shoes. Flesh, flesh no shoes. shoes. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. S S. Flesh. Yeah. Flesh <laughs> shoes. <laughs> that was too much for Arthur. He's like, I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's like, can't have the flesh shoes. <laughs> Disgusting monsters. <laughs> cool. Also, also, can I just say I found like the coolest spot to put my phone? It's in my bike, yeah. like under my bike bike seat, like like perfect po poking <laughs> the top tube of my frame. Like, and you yeah, can't even take a like, picture of it to show us. us. Oh. I can, I can get my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> hey CJ, have you considered being an engineer? Yeah. <laughs> nah, I, I I think that's outside of my like capabilities. Your skill scope. set, yeah. Outside the scope, human scope. <laughs> no, that's outside the scope. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> okay. I haven't ever used the iPad camera. This is the first time. You're really boomerang right now. Wow. I know. I got, yeah. I got, got his picture. Tesla. He's living in parking lots. He's taking pictures with an iPad. Living. Mm -hmm. Should go to a Rolling Stones concert later. Well, I'm going. Well, I'm do. going to the Buzzard Loop next. That's that's Ooh. that's my plan. Yeah. Nice. What is it? The Buzzard Roost. <laughs> Buzzer yeah, Buzzer loop. or something like this yeah it's like two miles and like five minutes from here nice so i'm jealous yeah there's bird watching apparently hopefully i'll see some buzzards that would be nice. better guaranteed cool all right i'm off to do something i don't know what yet Well, what time is the thing tomorrow? One Central? Mm -hmm. Or is that I think one it's Central? Normally 12 PST. Okay. Two. Yeah. Two, two PST? So two. they said two tomorrow. Got it. Two yeah. CST. Cool. At least that's what I have. I mean, I've got the calendar mm -hmm. integrated, so. Also, see if there's room for the demos. Um, I'm not mm. sure, and and if there's not, just uh, I'll, I'll give up my spot for for this week. I'm like totally cool with that. Yeah. Who do we ask? That'd about probably that? be fine. John, do you know who'd you ask for? Oh yeah, Yoshi. I I can I can ask. Them. Cool. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that that was yeah. Cool. Also, I, I this might be a, a time to test it, but some of these demos. I feel like they could be like 10 minutes, actually most, honestly. So uh, that might be a, a like a, a change, Jamie and Yoshi can try. Cause like, yeah, it's like, yeah. So sometimes they just run for a long, and when you stack a lot of them, like by, by the last few demos, people are like zombie brained. Tuned out. Like, yeah. So yeah, do it quick and then we have threads that people want to go in for more details. Yeah. I feel like six in an hour is like pretty good, but like six yeah. in an hour and a half is pretty long. That's, yeah, very different. Like, small difference per big difference on, on the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, here's the agenda. Daily Canvas, Beat Plays, NFT Toms, Messaging App, Planet Crossword. So that's five. Yeah, six. Could, could make sense. Yeah, we can just wing it, too. Just put it in there and then go from there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also tell them that we can do it in five minutes. Easy. It takes a little longer than that. Just tell yeah, him we, we could do Dave it in is five minutes. Speed running. <laughs> Dave's speed running. He's elevator pitching prompt. Mm -hmm. You like prompts? We got prompts. Make a prompt, respond to what a prompt. What else you want? What else do you need? Hey. Hey. We got prompts. <laughs> I'm signing off. Later. <laughs> how, can, how can they reach you? You can call me at 555-2223. Send me a prompt. Send me a prompt. Send me a prompt. <laughs> mm -hmm. prompt me. Send me a prompt. Hit me up on prompt. You like prompts? <laughs> Everything's a prompt. <laughs> we're, we're about promptness around here. It's a Socratic theater of some kind. Exactly. I like that. All right. Bye. Bye, everybody. All right. Bye, guys. Later.